Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I received a phone call this morning from a friend of mine. I met a couple times on the cruise ships out there. She's a friend of Tony and Jenny's as well, and a fellow Canadian, but uh, she got scammed on her current cruise. And I thought I'd better let's share this information out there so you don't get caught neither because really it could have gone much worse. So currently my friend is on a excursion a cruise out of LA heading down into Mazel Tan and Cabo San Lucas on Norwegian Cruise Line and she stopped in in one of the ports. Uh, let's just, I'm going to say it, one of the ports, so you follow this advice for all the ports. If, if I just say one, you'll only concentrate on that one. So let's say all the ports, every port you go to from now on. And she decided to go to this hotel uh, you know, all luxury hotel, you go in for the day, you spend time by the pool and all that, and she went on her own. She did not buy this through the cruise line. She decided it's cheaper to go on her own, and she's a solo traveler, traveling by herself, and she does know that, you know, there could, don't, don't take rides from just anybody, right? Go to the authorized taxi stand and places like that. And she went over, she saw the yellow cabs and she went over, she talked to somebody and she said, yeah, this is where you go. It said, how much is it to go to there? And they said, it's $20. She said, great. So she jumped in a cab and she started her trip to the hotel to enjoy her day at this luxury resort and pool and all that kind of stuff. Well, Things started getting a little suspicious as, you know, the cabbie started asking questions like, oh, are you on a cruise? Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, you know, oh, it's too bad you don't have friends with you. At, these are the kind of questions that sound friendly and sound very, but they're establishing your identity. They're establishing that you're by yourself. They're establishing you don't have somebody to quick, quickly call that you're in trouble. They're establishing that you're a solo traveler by yourself. And so he started saying that, you know, she goes, it's $20 to get to the place. And she, he goes, yes, it is and everything. And he says, uh, she, she starts to take out money and he goes, oh, sorry, we don't take cash. Big red flag. Big, big red flag. Who doesn't take cash? Especially in Mexico. Everybody takes cash, but let's go with that for now. So let's say they don't. Started saying that it take, you know, we, we only take credit cards. So she kind of questioned that, but remember, she's a single lady traveling by herself. And this taxi driver is now driving down this very quiet road with not a lot else around it. And she, he starts going in this traffic circle, around and around and around this traffic circle. And he says he's looking for a cell signal so he can process the credit card. Another red flag. Because the hotel would have cell service. So if he pulls up to the hotel, he could have ran the card there, but he doesn't. He goes and does it in this cell service because if he pulled up at the hotel and she thought there was a problem, she could yell for help. Or she could get out of the cab and yell for help, right? But on the circle, you're alone, you're a single lady, you're trapped. So she ends up giving him the credit card and he runs it on her, on his Apple phone you know, they can stick that little Apple Pay thing in it now and they can swipe your card. And she sees on it that it says 400. It said 400 peso, uh, $400. She says, why is it $400? He goes, no, no, that's 400 pesos, which is $20. So she, she says, she, she's at this point getting a little nervous with the driver and where he is and all that. He, ex she, she punches in her pin and accepts it. And she gets to the destination and she gets out and the taxi driver drives away. The taxi driver also seemed to know because this hotel writes down all the taxis and cars that are coming. He writes down, they write down their license plate numbers. 
security reasons. Well, he saw that the person at the front was busy already writing down somebody and talking to somebody else. He drove around them, dropped her off, and then sped off. So the person never had a chance to write down that license plate. He timed it perfectly because he had already got the money, so there was nothing to exchange. She just got out of the cab and he drove away. So it was a quick do drop dropout. Well, she was suspicious completely of this, and she started asking people at the hotel, you know, is it true that these cabs only take credit cards? And the hotel said, uh, no, in fact, it's the opposite. They normally only take cash on these transactions. So she immediately got in touch with her credit card, and lo and behold, she was charged $1,500 Canadian on the credit card. Not $20. Not 400 pesos, $1,500 Canadian. Ouch. She immediately contacted the credit card company. They're working on it now. But once you enter that PIN, you're accepting it. So she says, yeah, but it, it said 400 when I accepted it. It said 400 pesos because it was all in Spanish. They made sure it wasn't in English. They made sure it was in Spanish because she knew, they knew she didn't speak Spanish from the conversations they were having in the taxi. All oh, those friendly taxi drivers. They're so pleasant and so warm and welcome while they're trying to scam you. So keep an eye. Remember, the friendlier friendly. It's one thing to make a, hey, where are you guys from? Oh, we're from there. That's it. But if they start, oh, are you traveling alone and everything? No, no. No, no, my whole family is there. That kind of thing. Never say you're traveling alone. There's a big tip right there. Another big tip in this is never ever say you have a credit card. Never, you know, if somebody says, oh, sorry, we, you know, especially you're in a car and you're trapped in a vehicle like this and they say, uh, we only take credit cards. Say, well, sorry, I didn't bring my credit card off the ship. I brought my cash. So you can have cash or just let me out. I guarantee you, they'll take the cash. Nobody doesn't take cash. <laughs> it's just, and people will say right away, well, Uber, Uber takes credit cards. And I, yeah, but you pay Uber in advance. You don't pay once you get into the Uber. Normally, you can tip, but normally you pay in advance, right? So, uh, yeah. Okay. She has contacted now the cruise line, the hotel, and the port authority where this happened. Now, the Port Authority said, well, call us back uh, in a little bit. Uh, well, just cancel your credit card. And she said, yeah, but I want to report the taxi driver. I have a picture of the taxi. And I know who did it. And he, they go, okay, well, well, call us back later. Suspicious? Hmm. Sounds like somebody in the Port Authority is getting paid off. It could be there are multiple people doing this scam and paying off the people they need to to not get caught and not be investigated. The hotel, when she called the hotel, immediately went to their security cams and tried to find the license plate of the taxi and the, and the taxi number, but the guy was smart and avoided the cameras to the point where they could not see. Uh, yeah, they, they know what they're doing when they're scammers. They've been doing it a long time and they will continue doing this in the future. So right now, the credit card company says, once you enter that PIN, uh, the responsibility is yours, but we'll cancel your card and send you a new one. But as of right now, they're investigating whether or not she can get her money back. And when I also say this could have been worse, there are still things going on in this world that are much worse than being out $1,500. You're a single lady traveling by yourself they could have just zoomed off in one direction and you could have never been heard of again. And that's what I mean by much, much worse. So I had to bring this video out. I'm very glad she, we had a nice call this morning and I'm, I'm glad she said it was like talking to an old friend and I, I eased her and calmed her and uh, she's still on her cruise. And I said, well, Enjoy the rest of the cruise. You're with a group today. You're going to be okay. Don't let this one experience ruin everything for you, but keep on top of it. Keep on top of the credit card. But I, I had, to, had to bring out a couple tips. Number one, number one tip. Never say you have a credit card. 
Number two, if at all possible, never travel alone in taxis. It's one thing if you're a six foot two big guy jumping in a taxi. Completely different if you're a five foot one female traveling by yourself. It just is. Um, also, uh, always have money on you. In, and not all in your wallet. I, I, I get so frustrated when I walk around and I see people in their back pocket and a great big bulge out of their back pocket because their wallet is so thick because they have all these ones and small denominations so they can tip. But their, their wallet is just, hey, my wallet's right here, everybody. Take a look. All you pickpocket people, it's right here. Don't. Buy some pants with zippers. I have pockets in my front leg of a bunch of my pairs of pants that I travel with. So I can put my money in there, never a big full wallet, just a little bit of money, and I put it in there and I zip it. And then I put it in another one. I put other money in that pocket and zip it. So I'm never pulling out all my money from one pocket. I'm not flashing things like that. Also, I don't normally get go on destinations that I'm not familiar with. And if you're a single solo traveler and you're unfamiliar with the area, if at all possible to your destination, just take the group shore excursion from the cruise line because you'll be on a bus or a shuttle with a whole bunch of other people and you're not jumping into a cab and possibly getting scammed and perhaps much, much worse. I'm so happy that my friend is okay. Because, like I said, this could have been much, much worse. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world and some warnings and some cruise news? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.